This video is an extension to the tips and tricks video on model and sponge shapes where we look at various other shapes that we can apply the same method to. So if you've not watched model in a sponge shape it's probably best that you watch that first. So to begin with I'm going to show you how we can create this simple star shape. So in a new session what we need to do is draw three vectors. We need a vector that represents the outside of our star. And we're going to take that vector, create a copy that's going to be a very small version of that star. And then we need another vector that's going to represent the cross section that we'd like to sweep between those two rails. So to draw a star, I can simply use the draw star option. So for the number of points, I want to give that four. I'm going to give that an outer radius of two and three quarters. Press create and close. There I have my star shapes. So this is going to be my outer rail. Now I need to create my inner rail. So I'm just simply going to take that vector, select it again to put it into transform mode, press control and shift, and then bring that down and make that into a very, very small star shape, which is barely visible here. So if we zoom in, we can see that there. Just press F to fit that to screen. So now I've got my outer rail and I've got my inner rail. All I need to do now is create a cross section that I'd like to sweep between the two vector rails. Now I'd just like to create a simple angled uh, style shape. So to do that, I'm just going to draw a rectangle. So sketch in a rectangle there, press close. Remember when we create cross sections, they need to be open vectors. So let's go into node edit mode, delete that bottom span. I'm going to hover over this node here, right mouse click and say delete point there. So now I have a vector that has one leg that will attach to one rail and another leg that will attach to another rail, which we will sweep between each one of those rails to create a spun star shape. So to do that, let's go into the two rail sweep form. So go into the modeling tab, use the option to two rail sweep. I'm just going to go into the uh, view here and just press page up to tile my window so I can see the 2D and the 3D view. And then I simply select my outer vector, shift and select that inner vector. Then we're going to say use selection. You can see that's going in an anti-clockwise motion, as is the center one. So this is simply just a copy of the outer one. Hence that's why our start points are in the same position. I can then select my cross section apply that to that cross section with this node here and then I'm going to right mouse click and then use the option to add to all rail nodes make sure fill center of inner closed vector rails is selected go ahead and press apply and so there we have our star shape where we have this cross section being swept from the outer rail to the inner rail of those two star shapes going around to create this really nice looking star shape then having the option to fill center of inner closed vector rails means that we simply fill that very small star in the center with material so that we're not left with a hole in the center there and we have a complete star shape let's just put that back in Z and we'll just close this down and we'll take a look at some more examples let's just switch off that component go into the layers tab switch off the star layer switch on star 2 make that the active layer go back into the modeling tab I would simply select the outer vector, you can see we've got the copy of the inner one here, shift and select that and go over to the two rail sweep form, say use selection, apply that cross section, apply that ensuring that fill center of inner closed vector rails is selected and there we have that really interesting star shape. Okay, so you can see how we can create some real cool shapes just using two vectors to act as rails, a cross section, and then using the two rail sweep form to create these really cool, interesting shapes. Let's close that down. We'll take a look at another example. So I'll switch that component off, go into my layers tab, switch on the flower layer. Let's put that back in Z and go back into the modeling tab. And this time we've got a flower, so we've got an outer vector shift and we've got an inner vector. This is a lot bigger than what we used in the other examples. We'll see how that works. And then we've got this cross section here. Okay, so I'm going to have a nice swooping shape that's going to come up at the top there. So we just press F, go into the two rail sweep form, say use selection. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead, apply that cross section, press apply. 
make sure fill center selected we can see the shape that we've created so where that inner rail is here we've got this nice flat shape that's due to the fill center of inner closed vector rails and you can see that lip where that's been transmitted through to create the uh, center of that flower and so that completes this short tips and tricks video on modeling sponge shapes with the two rail sweep tool